morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be starting yet another reading vlog for you guys. I am super excited about this one as I am about all of my vlogs but for this vlog I have such an exciting TBR full of books that I think I'm just absolutely going to adore and I'm in such a big reading mood that honestly I am ready to just sit down and do so much reading this week so I hope that actually happens but let's quickly go over the TBR and then we will get into it. So I've actually started three of the books that I'm going to be reading in this vlog. One of these I am quite a ways through, but the other two I haven't like really gotten too far into them. So the one that I am definitely going to be finishing today, I think is An Impossible Imposter by Deanna Rayborn. This is the seventh book in the Veronica Speedwell series and I am loving it honestly. And I'm so excited about that because I read the sixth one a few weeks ago and I didn't love that one. And I was a little bit scared that the series was going downhill, but oh my God, this book is so juicy honestly like so many things are coming out about Veronica's past and I'm like eating it up I'm like honestly give me the drama this is what I've been needing I'm obsessed with it and I cannot wait to see what's gonna happen in the rest of this book I am on page 215 so I think I have like a little bit over 100 pages left so my goal is to finish this up today and I'm really excited about it. So this is reading plan number one. The other book that I have started is Half a Soul by Olivia Atwater. Again, I'm absolutely loving this book so far. I think I'm only like 40 pages in. I'm not sure where I stopped because originally I was reading this from the library and then I was really loving it. So I bought a physical copy so I could like continue it that way. But I don't know where I am in this book. <laughs> Um, but I'll figure that out at some point in time and I'll read from there. But this one so far, I am loving. I can't really tell you too much about An Impossible Imposter because this is the seventh book in the series, but I can tell you a little bit about Half a Soul because it is the first book. So you're following our main character, Dora, who when she was younger had half of her soul taken by the Fae. And for her, that means she doesn't really feel emotions like normal people. So everything is very dulled. She doesn't really have the correct reactions to things because she just doesn't feel that way about things. And I love this. They're like a, um, when does this take place? Regency is the Regency period. I love seeing that in the Regency period because there were definitely certain ways that women needed to act back then and seeing her not react that way, I just think is um really funny and I'm loving it so far. There's a wizard or sorcerer or whatever you want to call him that definitely gives me how vibes from House Weaving Castle. And I think I'm gonna love this book to be honest. Like if I don't love this book, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I think I will. And I'm really excited to finish this book this week. And then the other book that I'm currently making my way through is a bit of a chunky one. I'm not reading all of this this week because uh, I'm not insane, but this is the complete Sherlock Holmes volume one. I don't really know why I decided to pick this one up this week, but something about it was just calling to me. And I was like, okay, yeah, sure. I've read a few of like the short Sherlock Holmes stories. Some of them were in here. And I've also watched the TV show Sherlock, which I did love, but I've never like actually read the, the longer like novella length Sherlock stories. So I sat down the other night and I started to read the first one, which is a study in Scarlet. And I'm like 26 pages into it. It's a little bit under a hundred pages. And this is like the very beginning for Sherlock and Watson. Like you're seeing how they meet, how they come to live together, that kind of thing. And there's also like a, a mystery, I would assume, um, at some point in time throughout this story. So I already like know how that goes, but I've never read it. And I thought that sounded really fun. So I'm gonna read A Study in Scarlet. And then the next one in here is The Sign of Four, which is like another longer Sherlock story. How long is it? It's only like 90 pages. So I think I might read A Study in Scarlet and The Sign of Four in this vlog, which I'm very excited about. So I'm gonna do that. And then we can talk about the other books, yes. There are more. The first one that I really want to read is The Secret Service of Tea and Treason by India Holton. This is the third book in whatever this series is called. I don't remember what it's called. So I picked this one up recently and then last week my hold for the audiobook came in through Libby and I still haven't listened to it yet and now I have like three days left. So I'm like, I need to read it before they take it away from me. So this is probably gonna be my plan after I read An Impossible Imposter and I'm really excited about this one because I think there's, oh yeah, just listen to the tagline. It says two rival spies, first of all, yes, must brave pirates, witches, and fake matrimony to save the queen. I love it. I love it so much. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So we're gonna definitely be reading this this week. And then this morning I stupidly added another book onto my TBR this week, but this one is a novella. I saw Leonie from the book Leo talk about this in the video of hers that she posted recently, like atmospheric, 
fantasy, whatever. And she mentioned that she wanted to read Silver in the Wood by Emily Tesh. She mentioned that it was a fantasy novella type of situation. And I was like, I could add a novella onto the TBR. I mean, why not? And this one sounds so good, honestly. I know it's kind of cottagecore-esque. It takes place in magical woods and there's a little bit of a romance in it, which all of that sounds so fun. And I think it's like really short too, because it's a novella. It's like 112 pages, so I'm like, very intriguing. I want to check it out. And I saw that they had it available as an ebook on Libby, so I was like, all right, borrow. I'm going to read that this week as well. And I think there are actually two books in, like, this duology, so maybe... Maybe I'll read the other one if I like the first one. I don't know. Uh, maybe I should not add more books to this TBR. So we're just going to focus on the first one for now. And I'm really excited to see what I think about it. And then for my final reading plans, I'm just going to read volumes seven and eight of Yona of the Dawn. I will not stop talking about them. You probably thought I was done. I'm not, but um, I'm just going to read these and then I will be done with the series. So yeah, here's my TBR for the week. It's looking a little crazy, but to be fair, I am like partway through some of these. So it's not, it's not as insane. As for my plans this week, I really just plan to do a bunch of reading. Like I would love to tackle all of the books that are on this TBR, which I think might be something I could possibly do. So we'll see if that happens. So those are kind of my plans for the week. I am super excited about this vlog. We're just going to get into it. Like I said earlier, my goal for today is to finish An Impossible Imposter. I'm so excited. So let's go. possible imposter and honestly <laughs> I think I'm gonna give it a five stars. I just loved every single aspect to this story. It was so good. We got more background information on some of our characters which was incredibly juicy and I loved learning about it. I even really liked the mystery and I felt very engaged in it. Like for the most part in this series I don't read it for the mystery and I think I've definitely said that a few times that like they're okay, but not like my favorite thing. It's the characters that really carry. But the mystery was like very entwined with the character backstory and the way those melded. Oh, it was so good. It was so good. And there was just so much drama and tension towards the end of this book. And just <laughs> my faith in the Veronica Speedwell series has been restored and I'm so excited about it. I also loved the ending of this book for like a couple of reasons. One, Veronica acquired a new dog. <laughs> it's kind of like a bit throughout this series that on various mysteries, they're talking to people that have like dogs and somehow by the end of the book, Veronica and Stoker end up like acquiring those dogs. And they've gotten a new dog for like almost every book. So when Veronica was like, fine, I will take your dog while you go do this thing, I was losing it because I just think that is so funny. And now she just has like five dogs that she has to look after which I think is great. And then also like the, the main reason I love the ending, that's more of like a small like piece, but I also love the ending because I think it introduces like a, um, like an aspect of pining almost back into the relationship just a bit. And that is what I needed to keep me like enthralled with Veronica and Sir. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's just, I'm so excited to see where things are gonna go in the eighth book. I put it on hold at the library and I think my hold should be coming in soon, so I will be reading that literally as soon as I possibly can because I absolutely need to. And I'm just, <laughs> I'm so obsessed with this series again. Like, honestly, the fifth and the sixth books were losing me just a tad, but oh my god, it was so good. Like, I think I have to give it 
a five star. Anyway, I'm gonna stop gushing about it for now. And I'm actually going to go do a little bit of, not really baking, but I'm gonna be making something sweet, which I'm excited about. Because I saw a TikTok, like not on TikTok, it was like a TikTok that was on Instagram Reels. You know what I'm saying. But this person was making strawberry and yogurt clusters dipped in chocolate. And I thought that sounded scrumptious. So I really want to make some. So it's not like a like a super involved process, nor is it baking, but I'm excited about them nonetheless. And I think they're gonna be delicious. So I'm gonna go make those. I will show you that. And then after that, I'm going to start the purple book. What is it called? <laughs> There's so many words in that title. It's like uh, tea service and treason something to that effect you know what i'm talking about at least i'm gonna assume you know what i'm talking about so i'm gonna start that later tonight but for now let's go to the kitchen Just really confused the whole time. Yeah, really confused. There's so um, many plot you know, lines. I remember nothing so many, from. Yeah, but you know, it's not about the show, it's about the company. It's about you the know? experience. It's the best possible company you could keep while oh. watching the show. Thank you. Okay, our also, ads are over. Subscribe to Katie. Oh, your ads are over. Well, I still have another zero seconds left, so. Say bye. <laughs> Hi. Good morning, everybody. It is currently Thursday morning, and I don't really have uh, much of a reading update for you because I did not start the secret. Oh my god, the secret service of tea and trees. In one of these days, I will remember like this title. But I did not get around to starting this because me and Cass decided to watch some Shadow Hunters last night, which is always just so entertaining because the show is awful, honestly. But it's really fun to watch it with Cass because we both just like make fun of it the whole time. And I like to think we're really funny. So it was a really good time. But I did not get to reading this. And then I think I read like four pages of A Study in Scarlet. But my god, the words on these pages are just so tiny. <laughs> it takes me a while um, to get through them. But I will be picking this up at some point in time soon. But my main goal for today is to read a bunch of this. So this is like my top priority, so hopefully that'll actually happen. However, for once, I do have some plans for today because one of my friends is coming into town and we're gonna go get some brunch and just like hang out and I'm really excited about that. And then I think on the way back, I'm gonna stop by the library and pick up a physical copy of Silver in the Wood by Emily Tesh because I realized that my library does have like physical copies of them and I would definitely prefer that to an ebook. So I'm just gonna go pick that up and also just like take a browse around the library because I thought that sounded fun. So that's kind of what's on the agenda for today, go to brunch, go to the library, and read this book. So 
Yeah, also, um, an update on my strawberry cluster thingies. In the end, they looked really ugly, so I did not show you, like, the final product, but they were honestly delicious, and I would recommend. I also really liked them not dipped in chocolate, like, those are really good too, and also a bit healthier, which is probably... It's probably better that way, but the ones dipped in chocolate are also really good. So that was definitely a success, but I actually need to leave soon, so I'm gonna go, but I will talk to you guys later, maybe with the library haul. We'll see what I get up to. Who knows? <laughs> everybody it is a friday morning it's like 7 a.m i never vlog this early but i just randomly woke up early this morning and i was like why not update you guys now <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do so yesterday i did go to brunch and it was super nice it was really fun to uh, catch up with my friend and then we walked around and we found this little plant store and obviously i had to buy plant so here she is i put her in this little halloween mug which i thought was so cute but this is some sort of pothos I think, or maybe it's not. It looks like it's a pothos, but I've never seen one with this kind of um, variegation. I think that's what it's called on the leaves. And it's kind of got like a, um, I think it's like a satiny feel is what it's called. I don't know much about plants, but I thought it was really cute. And this is the kind of plant that I can't normally find just like around me. So I picked it up and I'm super happy about it. So there's my um, planned purchase that nobody asked me to share, but there it is. And then I also went to the library afterwards and I picked up Silver in the Wood. And this, <laughs> look how short it is. It's just so tiny and I'm really happy to have it. So I might read this today, maybe. I got a lot of reading plans for today, so you know, we'll see. But then I also picked up a little graphic novel that I saw and I've seen this a few times and I've been wanting to pick it up. And that is Hollow, which I'm going to assume takes place in Sleepy Hollow. In The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, I think it's one of like my favorite short stories. I just really love it. I read it last fall and I enjoyed it immensely. So I'm really excited to have this. And then I do also have a quick reading update for you guys because I've made quite a bit of progress in The Secret Service of Tea and Treason. I think I'm at like the halfway point. I'm up to page 164. And guys, I'm loving it. <laughs> like, it's so good. In the beginning, I was like, I don't know how I feel about this one specifically, but as it has gone on, I love it so much and I cannot wait to see where things are gonna go in the romance. I literally do not care about the plot of these books at all. I don't think you're really supposed to because you don't really spend too much time developing the plot, but the romance is so good. <laughs> because both of our main characters are like the top two spies at a spy agency. And before they got paired up on a mission together, they like did not know the identity of each other, which I think is so funny. But they always were like, oh yeah, this agent is my rival. I just don't know what they look like. But now they know what they look like and they have this mission together, but they're rival spies. And I just love that aspect to it because it's basically like rivals to lovers, not really in a super serious sense, but it's still really fun. And they're thrust together on this mission where they have to pretend to be married, which like, yeah, come on. <laughs> and one of my favorite things that has happened is there's been the one bed trope. <laughs> and you know, they were doing the thing like, oh, I'll sleep on the sofa, no, I'll sleep on the sofa. So they were like, all right, fine, we'll compromise. And they both slept on the sofa and nobody slept on the bed. And I just thought that was too funny, like absolutely ridiculous, but really funny. And I feel like that kind of sums up like this series as a whole is just like nothing makes sense and that's the fun part oh i love it so much <laughs> so this is great i'm enjoying it so much i'm definitely going to be finishing it up today anyway that is my reading update so plan for today is to finish the secret society no the seat oh my god this title's too long there's so many words in it the secret service of tea and treason i'm aiming to finish this today and then i would really like to start half a soul because i am going to restart it and kind of get a refresh on those 40 pages that i read previously 
but I'm so excited about it. So this is my other reading plan for the day. Maybe I could read uh, my volumes of Yona. I don't know. I think I keep putting off the volumes of Yona because I don't want to be like completely finished with the series, but I, I do have to just do it at some point in time. I'm gonna go um, read some more of this book and I will talk to you guys in a bit. It is Sunday morning. I did not end up vlogging anything yesterday. However, I'm here today with a few updates for you guys. Also, yes, I am wearing my Twilight sweatshirt again, but there's actually a reason for it today, which will make sense in a few minutes. Do not worry. But I have some reading updates. First of all, I did finish The Secret Sea... Oh my god. I did, <laughs> I did finish The Secret Service of Tea and Treason. And I'm gonna give it a four star. Honestly, I think this one might be my favorite of the series, which is kind of surprising because when I first started reading it, I was a little unsure. But as things continued to progress, I was like, okay, yeah, I really do like it. I thought the romance was really fun. I really liked the setting of this book because the whole mission that our two main characters had was that they had to go to this castle mansion, whatever it was, and they had to find this really dangerous weapon that would be used to kill the queen. All right, so there was a lot of our main characters, you know, sneaking around the castle, trying to find this weapon, being like thwarted by pirates who are just like insane. And it was, it was just a really good time. And I just found out that India Holton is coming out with a new book, I think in 2024 sometime. And it's called The Ornithologist's Field Guide to Love. That's so hard to say, Ornithologists? The Ornithologist's Field Guide to Love. And I don't even need to know more about it. I know that it takes place in Spain in 1890 and that's all I need to know. So I'm, I'm super jazzed about that one, but this one was also just really good. I also do have a quick update on a study in Scarlet. I am up to page 60 now. So I think I'm like two thirds of the way through it and I'm liking it. I thought it was fun, <laughs> but like very abruptly in part two, we switch to this chapter. It's called On the Great Alkali Plain. And it spends like three pages describing, I don't know, like the Great Plains of the US. And I was like, what happened? Like we were in Victorian London, like, you know, my favorite like time and place to read about. And then it switched to like the prairie. And I was like, no, please no, I don't want this. I do not like stories that take place on the prairie. Like I got enough of this in fourth grade when I had to learn about, you know, the people settling West or whatever. I'm really liking the, uh, the mystery. And I know that like all of this will eventually tie into the mystery, but it was just a very abrupt change that I did not like. So I'm aiming to finish that today. And then let's talk about some other reading plans that may or may not happen because I feel like every time I say I'm gonna read something, I don't. But I think today I might actually read Silver in the Wood by Emily Tesh. Like these two are my main goals for today. And then I do really wanna start Half a Soul. I just like, I need to do it. I just need to do it. But like for now, I'm gonna focus on these. And then this is what we'll end the vlog with. You know what I'm saying? So this is, yeah, makes sense, makes sense. So those are my reading updates for now. But let's talk about what I'm about to do because my friends, it is arts and crafts time. <laughs> which I'm so excited about. I saw this reel on Instagram yesterday of somebody who made this like, I don't know how to explain it. I feel like I should probably just show it to you. <laughs> Look at this. You're kidding me. This is from um, Posies and Pages on Instagram. I'll link the, um, can you link reels? Like, I don't know. I'll figure out some way, but like all credit goes to them because like, that's amazing. But I reposted the reel to my story and I was like, I'm very tempted to figure out how to do this or something. And three of you guys were like, oh my God, you totally should. So now I'm like, yeah, I totally should. So that's what I'm gonna do this morning 
and I'm very excited about it. I am going to do it in my copy of Twilight. I think I have a really good page for it because I have taken up the title page with my annotations, but I think I can put it on the dedication page. So we are going to put Sparkly Edward on this page and I'm very excited about it. Although I was looking on YouTube for like a tutorial on how to do this and my god it looks complicated and I'm a little worried. And somebody in the comments was like I had to sell my soul to the devil to figure out how to do this and I was like oh no. But as I think I stated earlier in this video, I am always up for a challenge. So that is what I'm going to be doing today. Hence my Twilight sweatshirt. It just felt right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, we're going to go figure out how to do that. I'm very interested to see if I can actually make this look good. I don't know. At any rate, let's do it. <laughs> did it. I did, did the stupid thing. Here he is in my copy of Twilight and it does work, which is so cool. Um, the only thing is, if you want to maintain a grip on your sanity, don't do this. My god. This was honestly really infuriating and um, the thought of doing another one of these ever makes me want to scream. So <laughs> try at your own risk. Um, is it worth it? Yeah, honestly, kind of, because I really, I think it's, it's just so stupid, but it's so funny. So I am like, I'm happy I did it, but I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna need some time to recover. You know what I'm saying? Crafts are supposed to be relaxing. And I don't know if I would say this is very relaxing, but it's done. And it certainly does jazz up my copy of Twilight as if it needed to be jazzed up anymore. I'm just gonna put this over here for now, just for a little bit. It's in time out for now. But it's currently 12.30. I'm gonna go eat some lunch really quickly. And then I think after that, I'm going to pick up Silver in the Wood. I don't think this should take me too long to read. It's literally like 105 pages. And yeah, like, I'm gonna read this this afternoon. I'm really excited to see what I think about it. And I will chat to you guys when I finish it. Yeah. <laughs>
so it is now Monday afternoon. I do have quite like so many things to update you on, honestly. I've done a decent amount of reading since the last time I talked to you. So I'm going to start with the fact that I have finally read all of the volumes of Yona that are currently out. And I don't know what to do with myself. I know I keep saying the same thing every time I talk about how sad I'm gonna be when I finish reading all the volumes, but I read volume seven and eight and now I'm like, what do I do? <laughs> I probably need to start a new manga series. That could probably be something good. I just don't know what. So if anybody has any manga recommendations that have similar vibes to Yon of the Dawn, you know, like fantasy romance kind of situation, that's what I really would like recommendations of. So if you have any, I'm all ears. Like, please let me know if you have any because I need something something, anything, honestly. But I read volume seven and eight. Seven was fine. You know, it was a good time. I enjoyed it. Eight, I have mixed feelings on eight, okay? So each of these volumes are split into like five chapters. And the first chapter in this volume was fine. The last chapter in this volume was stunning, honestly. And then the middle three chapters, I was so bored. I was like, my God, this might be my least favorite part of the manga. And I know there is an episode in the anime that I also skipped because it was really boring. And I think it might've been this part. And it focuses on this dude. I don't like this dude. And it also focuses on like, just people who are not like the main characters. And I'm like, I do not care about you, nor do I want to spend over half of the volume focusing on what was even going on? I don't know. I was like skim reading the middle chapters because I just did, I could not make myself care. But I was like, you know what? It'll be fine. I'm just not really vibing with this volume, whatever. But then the last chapter came in and I was like, wow, like this, yeah, it really brought it back. <laughs> Let me tell you, it was so good. Like this volume got its redemption arc, but I still kind of hated it. Finally done with the series. I'll cry about it a little bit, but um, actually I won't do any crying about it yet because I still have things to update you on. So I also have finished Silver in the Wood by Emily Tesh. I ended up picking this up on audio and I think that was the right call. The narrator that they have for this has such a nice and deep voice and it really fit the story well and I really enjoyed listening to the audiobook. So basically this novella opens up on our main character Tobias who lives in the middle of the woods of Green Hollow and he's kind of, you know, connected to the woods, been like a folklore kind of way. He's like over 400 years old. He's been in the woods for that length of time. Like he is the embodiment of the woods. You know what I'm saying? And one day he meets our other main character, Henry, who has kind of like wandered into the woods and they strike up a friendship that eventually kind of develops into something more. And that was really cute. And overall, I just really enjoyed this book. It very much reads like, you know, a folk tale, which is definitely like the intent of this book. Our main character, Henry, is even a folklorist. Like he moved to Green Hollow to kind of study the, uh, the local myth and legend around it. And eventually as the story progresses, Henry kind of finds himself in his own folk tale. I don't know if I'm gonna give this a rating because typically I don't give novellas ratings, but I thought it was a good time. I wasn't like super connected to the characters or anything, but I really liked the overall like tone of the story. It's very like, woodsy, naturey, whimsical, magical, like that kind of thing. Lots to do with folk tales and legends and myths. And I just really enjoy that aspect of it. So this is really good. I also really like the writing. So I think I might have to check out Emily Tesh's book that I have on my shelves actually, which I got in the most recent Illumicrate, which is called, what's it called? Some Desperate Glory. It's like a young adult sci-fi. So like very different from this, but I'm intrigued definitely intrigued. So this was good. I'm glad I picked it up. And then I do have one final reading update and that is I restarted Half a Soul by Olivia Atwater. And it is so good. Let me tell you, I love this book already. I am on page 109 now and it is just everything that I wanted it to be. It's so good. Like there are definitely some aspects to the story that don't have to do with the romance. And I really like those two. I think it's really interesting. You're kind of following Dora as she does some charity work that she's been like pushed into doing by her really nosy aunt. And she's seeing the reality of a lot of situations that don't really get discussed in polite society. So I think it's interesting to see her have those kind of revelations. But I also really love the romance. Like it's so interesting. I can't wait to see how the dynamic between them is going to develop over the course of the story because I think they are like a really good matched pair. Because her main character Dora doesn't feel like emotions the way that normal people do. So a lot of her reactions to things are very like 
neutral. She doesn't really, she doesn't really have reactions to a lot of things. And the love interest, I think, is very used to people feeling very off-put by the way that he reacts to a lot of situations and kind of just his personality in general, because he's pretty, like, brash and rude, honestly. He's kind of an ass. But I feel like that's probably a front, so I'm interested to see how that's gonna go. But I think they're very well suited to each other, and I'm excited to see how that's gonna develop over the course of this book, and I'm just so excited to read some more. So, um, gonna be finishing this soon, because, like, I have to, honestly. Also, it's not even 300 pages, so it's really short, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to read some more. I think I might be giving it a five stars. It's just, it's so good. So, there is half a soul. Anyway, um, those are all of the things that I had to update you on. I have not read any more of A Study in Scarlet. Maybe I'll do that tonight. I don't know. At any rate, I think that's everything. So I'm gonna go. I'll probably talk to you guys tomorrow with an update on half a soul, and I'm so excited. <laughs> so let's go. Okay, so it is Tuesday afternoon now. I don't really have much of a uh, reading update for you, uh, meaning I I just don't have a reading update for you. I have acquired some things um, since the last time I talked to you, so I thought I could show them to you. First of all, the thing that I'm most excited about is this little light that I have here. I got a little toast light and he's just so cute. <laughs> like, did I need this? Absolutely not. But I had seen a couple of people with them and I was like, I want my Lord Toast Slate. And look, when you hit it, it's just precious. And I'm so glad I have it. Moving on, because I do have books to talk about. First of all, I got a book in the mail yesterday. And I, I just opened it on my own because I was really excited about it. But I've been wanting to buy this for the longest time. And I finally did it because I got a Barnes & Noble gift card for graduation. And I finally picked up Poems Bewitched and uh, haunted, yes. Essentially, it's just a tiny book of spooky poems and I'm so excited to bust this out in the fall. It's got like different categories too, but I, it's just such a cute little book. I love it so much and I'm so glad that I finally have it. So definitely we'll be whipping this out in just a few months when it's finally full. So that's the fun book mail, but I also went back to the library to pick up some holds, which I'm really excited about because one of these I think I'm going to read in this vlog. And that is A Sinister Revenge by Deanna Rayborn. I'm so excited. Oh, I lied. I totally do have a reading update for you because I started the audiobook for this last night. Yeah, okay. So I'm like 8% of the way into A Sinister Revenge. Like, I'm loving it so much, honestly, and I'm not even that far into it. But this book opens on Veronica, obviously, but she is with Stoker's brother Tiberius, and I think Tiberius is so funny, and I love the books that he's in. So obviously I'm really excited about this one. Kind of the setup for this is 
is that Tiberius thinks somebody is out to murder him and that's kind of what this book is going to be centered on and I'm just like so excited about this one. So I don't know if I'm going to finish this book in this vlog but I will definitely let you guys know what I'm thinking of it and I'm just like so far it's so good. And I don't want to say it feels like a five star, but like it might be a five star. And I'm just, I'm reading so, so, so many good books in this vlog. And I'm having such a good time. So, so glad that this could be added on to the TBR. And then I also picked up a manga because this is a new series that I want to start. And that is Snow White with the red hair. I don't know anything about this to be honest. So this book follows her main character who is famous for her naturally bright red hair. Kind of giving Yona. If you ask me, like, I don't know which of these came first, but like, obviously I just read Yona first. So I'm like, that's what I'm thinking about. And oh, there's a prince after her, but then she escapes into the woods of a neighboring kingdom and she meets some, some dudes. And I'm, I'm excited about this one. Like, I really can't wait to jump into this. This is another one that I heard Hannah from a clockwork reader talk about. And I was like, I need more fantasy romance kind of manga. And I don't exactly know if that's what this is, but we are gonna find out, my friends, and I'm really excited about this one. So, um, so far today, I haven't really been doing much of anything. Currently, I'm watching Olivia's new vlog, and I've been updating my journal. But aside from that, not much has gone on. So, I'm going to make it my mission today to read some more of Half a Soul. Oh no, I have another reading update for you. I keep... I just, I need to like get these things out before I start filming these updates. I have read like 10 more pages of A Study in Scarlet, and I don't want to say I hate it. <laughs> But I really do not like the second half of this book so far. So I don't know if I'm gonna push through it or just DNF it. I don't know, cause like there's only 30 pages left. So I'm like, do I just do it? But I've read like a fair amount of these Sherlock Holmes like short stories, not the novellas. And I know I like those. So I know I like the general concept of like following Sherlock Holmes and Watson. But I think the issue with the study in Scarlet is the second half so far hasn't included them at all. So I'm like, why, why do I care about this person? Oh yeah, that's right. I don't. I think I might just listen to the audiobook for the rest of it and um, just so it can be done. Now those are all of the updates that I have to update you on. So for today, I'm gonna read some of Half a Soul. I'm gonna read some of A Sinister Revenge, two amazing books. So let's go. Okay, so it is the next day. I do have a bit of a reading update for you because I kind of just went off and finished Half a Soul and it was so good. Oh my God. I know I haven't given you guys too many updates on it, but oh my God. I love this book so much and I have to give it a five star. Honestly, I loved the romance so much. I loved the Regency vibes of this book and it was like everything I wanted a Jane Austen novel to be, but I don't want to say better because like they're very they were written in very different time periods but this one's just generally more suited to the type of books that I like reading. However as much as I loved this I don't think I'm gonna continue the series because I've looked at these synopsis synopses for the like second and third books in this kind of I think it's more of a companion series. I just loved the two main characters in this book so much I'm like I don't like I'm good. <laughs> Like, I just don't think I would like the main characters in the second or third books as much as I like them. So I'm like, I think I'm just gonna leave it at this. And I'm okay with that. However, if you guys have read like the second or third books in these series, what are they called? They yeah, uh, 10,000 Stitches and Long Shadow, I think is what they're called. If you've read either of those and you think I should read them, I would love to hear your input on that. And like, let me know if you liked them or whatever. I need to know. But I think for now, I'm gonna leave it at this. If you guys like a cozy fantasy romance with Faye, you gotta pick it up. To be fair, I still think I have issues <laughs> with like books that are touted as cozy fantasy because things do just like happen way too easily. And that's like my main complaint with it. And the thing is, it's not really a valid complaint <laughs> because that's the point of cozy fantasy. So there were like some aspects to this plot where I'm like, things happened a little too easily but it's not so egregious that I'm gonna let it like impact my rating because I still loved the rest of this book so much that I'm giving it a five star but I do wish the ending would have been drawn out a bit more I think this book could have benefited from like a higher page count like not too high but maybe just like a little bit more to flesh a few other things out but 
overall I love this book. I really liked the plot. I feel like it was a romance but it also tackled like some serious issues which I thought was really interesting and it was just it's just great. So yeah <laughs> this book five stars love it my second five star of this reading vlog i'm so excited i might be reading another five star and it's just gonna be so good so that does segue me into my plans for today which is to pick up a sinister revenge again i need to figure out what page i'm on actually hang on so i'm literally on page like 25 so again i'm not sure if i'm gonna finish this but i think i'm gonna go outside and read a little which normally i hate going outside but it looks like it might be somewhat cloudy today and it's not like a million degrees yet so i'm like maybe maybe i should go outside for like just a little bit so i'm gonna do like a little bit of reading just hang out maybe enjoy the sunshine oh it just keeps getting brighter as i'm saying this that's rude but i'm gonna i'm gonna go read some more and i'll give you an update when i have like a, a sizable update for you outside it was really sweaty so um i went inside i think i read less than a chapter of a sinister revenge and now i'm here to end the vlog because i have done so much reading over the last like week that i think i'm gonna call it good for now and take a, a small break before i begin filming my next vlog which I'm really excited about because I'm gonna be reading some very fun fantasy romance books. But I wanna give myself, you know, like a little bit of time off from vlogging before I get back into that. But in that time, I will probably continue to read A Sinister Revenge. But I thought before I left you, I could go through all of the books that I read this week. And there are a lot, I think there's like six, and then I started two. And also I think all of these books are like somewhat historical which I think is funny that I just inadvertently like chose a theme for this vlog. But we have like historical fantasy, historical mystery, historical romance, and then there's a book that was like actually written in the 1800s. So a theme has indeed emerged. And I love that, honestly. So let's quickly talk about the six books that I read this week and the two that I started. So First of all, I read volumes seven and eight of Yona of the Dawn. I am still sad that I'm finally finished reading the series, but it's fine. Then I also read Silver in the Wood by Emily Tesh. I did not end up giving this one a rating, but I thought it was fun. And I would recommend if you're in the market for a fantasy novella. Then I have one of my five stars for the week, and that is An Impossible Imposter. It was so good. It was so good. <laughs> Loved it. Then we also have The Secret Service of Tea and Treason, which I gave a four star. Half a Soul, which I gave a five star. Oh my god. Like, it was so good. Um, and then the two that I did not finish, one of them being A Study in Scarlet. I am still unsure as to if I'm ever going to finish this story, but we'll see. And then I also made it 25 pages into A Sinister Revenge. Not quite as far is I was um, hoping to make it in this vlog, but I also don't wanna like force myself to read this book if I'm not like wanting to read it today, you know what I'm saying? So everything's good. I'm gonna read this on my own time and I'll let you know how I feel about it in my, what month is it? June wrap up. So <sighs> there's that. I feel like I had a very successful reading week. I'm so happy with all of the books that I got to, aside from A Study in Scarlet, that one's kind of a dud, I can't lie. But <laughs> the rest of them were stunning and I had two five-star reads, so I'm very content with that. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. If you did, please do let me know down below, have you read any of the books that I read in this vlog? I would love to talk about all of these, to be honest, so let me know. Or if you haven't, just let me know what you guys have been reading recently or how you're doing, what you're up to, literally anything you wanna tell me. I'm all ears. Don't forget, I did recently start a Patreon. I should probably start talking about that. Where I post extra videos. We have a monthly buddy read. I'm going to be doing some readathons. There's also journaling content if you're into that. There's a lot of things. So if you guys want to check it out, 
it will be linked in the description. And yeah, I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you in my next video.